I've done a number of reviews of MREs from Meal Kit Supply in the past. And Meal Kit Supply is one of the companies that makes commercial MREs. And up until now, all of those reviews were meals from a single case that I had gotten in 2013. And I just recently got a brand new case, a 2015 case, and I thought it'd be worth taking another look at these to see what's changed, what's stayed the same over the past almost three years. And as I had mentioned in the original unboxing of the old case, Milk Kit Supplies cases themselves are actually very interesting. They actually have a lot of information printed right onto the case. A lot of good information that I think would be helpful for somebody who isn't very familiar with MREs, somebody who might be thinking of buying some but isn't really well versed in them. Basically, every side of the case has printing on it except for the top, and at the top is generally where they put their mailing label, which is, mine was right here, and I took that off. So we'll take a quick look at that before we go into the case. You can see this is uh, 22 pounds, they give you the weight right on here. And it's basically this is the advertisement, it tells you exactly what you're getting. You're getting 12 three-course meals, and a list of what you're getting in each, in each of them. It tells you it has a five-year shelf life. There's actually more on that in a little bit, though. Same information's on the other side. On this end, we get a little bit more into detail as to what's included in each MRE, including little pictures of each, each item, you know, entree, dessert, bread and spread, condiments, flameless ration heater, side dish, cold drink, hot drink mix, spoon, napkin, and wet nap. The contact information. Now while these are commercial MREs, the components inside of them are almost all the same as what we define in a genuine MRE. And this side here has the shelf life information. So it's easy to say it has a five year shelf life, but of course that's dependent on how they're stored and mainly temperature wise. So it gives you a little chart here saying if you store it at 100 degrees, 90 degrees, 80 or 70, how long you can expect these to last. Some more information here. And then possibly the most valuable bit of information is on the bottom. Uh, I always talk about the date codes on the MREs that I review. I think most people are pretty familiar with what that means, but for somebody who has never seen a four digit date code and they see this right here, it actually tells you, gives you an arrow so you know well, that's what you're looking at. But you could say, well, what, what does four random numbers mean? It doesn't really mean anything to me. And they actually give you a nice little explanation right here. This case is date stamped with a four digit Julian date code. The first digit indicates the last number of the year, and the last three numbers are the day of the year that it was, that it was packed on. So we can look and we can see our date code right here. It's 5301, which means that it was packed on the 301st day of 2015. So this is a very freshly packed box. It is possible some of the components inside won't be that fresh, but we'll take a look and we'll see what we can find. I think that's enough talk about the box. Why don't we go ahead and open this up and see what's inside of here. The straps on the box and then it's glued, glued shut. Inside you have a little protective cardboard on the top, which um, I guess is mostly if somebody's using a knife to open this up and you don't want to damage what's inside, you have a little extra layer of protection right here. And we can see here's our, our case of 12 MREs from Meal Kit Supply. First thing I see that's different is these stickers on the back. They give you, oh okay, yeah. this, is, this is different. This is an, sort of an odd change, which probably makes sense for them financially. The old uh, bags, there's actually a different bag for each, for each meal. They give you the menu number, they give you the name of the entree, and also gave you a complete list of exactly what was in each one. And on the back, they gave you a complete listing of all the nutrition facts. These nutrition facts are, are going to be found on the individual components inside, but I always thought this was a great presentation, that you get it right on the outside of the case. You can see exactly what's in there and exactly what's in each component. And all the calories, all the carbs, all the sodium, everything like that. So this one has a similar look. They've kept the same, the same look. 
but now they have a generic front, so they're all going to look the same. And you just flip them over in the back to see the menu number and the, and the name of the entree. So, like I said, that's probably it's better for the company. I, I, I think I am going to miss the uh, the full listing on the front. It's not quite as much of a surprise when you open it up, but it's nice to be able to see exactly what you're getting without even having to open the MRE. But I'm going to empty these out and we'll take a closer look. Let me see as I'm pulling these out of here. So there is a little card at the bottom of the box. Which is a, that's kind of a nice touch. You are now prepared. And so, I like that. So his meal kit supplies current lineup of MREs. Just a quick look at all the menus. We have menu number one, spaghetti with beef and sauce. Menu number two, chili with beans. Menu number three, vegetarian ratatouille. Menu number four, cheese tortellini. Menu number five, beef ravioli and meat sauce. Menu number six, beef taco. Menu number seven, meatballs and marinara sauce. Menu number eight, vegetable lasagna. Menu nine, hash browns with bacon. Number 10, pork sausage patty. Number 11, pork sausage patty. And number 12, hash browns with bacon. And I do want to take a quick look at these last four. Meal Kit Supply gives you four breakfast menus in addition to eight lunch and dinner menus, which is nice because you can have four days worth of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And another thing that Meal Kit Supply talks about is that they have 12 different menus. So you might look at these and say, well, wait a minute, there's two hash browns with bacon and there's two pork sausage patties. So the entrees are the same, but they do change up the rest of the menus to make it a little bit different. In the pork sausage patty, there isn't really a heck of a lot of difference. Number 10 has a strawberry toaster pastry. Number 11 has a chocolate chip toaster pastry. Number 10 has grape jelly for the wheat snack bread. And number 11 has blackberry jam for the wheat snack bread. That's really the only differences between those two. The hash browns with bacon, numbers 9 and 12. Number 9 has a trans fat free spice pound cake and wheat snack bread for the peanut butter. Number 12 has zapple sauce and regular crackers for the peanut butter. Like I said, not huge differences, but it's enough to make it so that you're not getting the exact same thing. And even with the repetition, you still have 10 completely different entrees. Alright, so there they all are. And the last thing I want to do before we start doing some reviews on these is to just uh, take another quick look at some of the differences between these and the 2013 ones, just to see how they've changed. Alright, and from the outside, the obvious difference is that while the design is similar and the font and everything, you get less information on the bags now. It's a generic bag instead of telling you the menu number, the entree, and everything that's included. You have this, instead, you have the sticker on the back. These are both spaghetti with beef and sauce, but you have to go on the back of this one to see that. So because of that, I did have to go online. They do have all the menus listed online and all the components. And I had to do that just to see what was different. I should also mention the date codes on these. We saw the date code on the case was 5301, and each of these are stamped with 5300. So these were all packed on the 300th day of 2015, or October 27th, and then they were put into the case the next day on the October 28th. Some of the small but kind of nice touches that are different about these is that um, they are now including some trans fat free desserts the TFF desserts that are in a lot of MREs now. It's a nice touch from a health standpoint, but uh, I have to say that I've only tried, I believe I've only tried one TFF dessert, it was a brownie, and I wasn't very impressed with it. I'm certainly very happy to not have the trans fats. There's obviously nothing nutritionally positive about those, but uh, unfortunately they also seem to give them a lot of the flavor. So you do have some TFF components in here. Now another new thing besides the TFF desserts is that some of these include hot sauce and barbecue sauce which is very common in genuine MREs, but pretty rare in commercial ones. Usually you just get salt and pepper. So that's a nice touch. And the point of them calling these three course menus is that they include a side. In addition to an entree and a dessert, there's also a side dish. And for the most part, they're actually real sides. Seven of these include either au gratin potatoes, fried rice, or black beans and sauce. Menu number eight, vegetable lasagna, and the four breakfast menus count either zapple sauce or a toasted pastry as a side dish. And then the last thing is to go into probably the biggest change in these is the fact that they have the hash browns with bacon. 
There's a couple other changes in, in the entrees, but this is the biggest one. These used to be apple maple oatmeal. I always thought that was an interesting one because it was packaged in, uh, it looked like a regular retort pouch. It was made by one of the companies that makes genuine MREs. But Meal Kit Supply was the only place that I ever saw retort pouch apple maple oatmeal. And I've never been an oatmeal fan, but I found it to be very tasty. The, between the apple and the maple, it just it was very, it was very good. So the interesting thing about the hash browns of bacon is that back in the 90s, there was a corned beef hash entree. And the other thing about hash browns is that for a while, a few years ago, there was a side of hash browns with bacon. So the difference of that, of course, this is going to be an entree. So I'm guessing this is going to be an 8-ounce uh, portion instead of a 5-ounce side portion. And this is hash browns with bacon and peppers and onions. So it should be a little bit more hearty than the side dish version. And this is something that is found in Genuine MREs as of 2015. It's a new breakfast entree, the hash browns with bacon. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out as something new and something different. And I guess that's about all there is to say about these for now. Next will be the reviews. Thank you for watching.